Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you themes and track colors in Reaper. When we first open Reaper or Reaper 6, it should look like this. We've got tracks over here, and this is the Reaper 6 default theme. But we could change it in the options menu. Go to options, go down here to themes, and choose a different theme. Default 3 looks like this. Default 4 looks like this. Default 5 looks like this. And classic looks like this. Let's put it back to the default right here. Now we could also use third party themes, which are themes that were created by users. Let's go to our internet browser and let's search Reaper themes. Right over here is the Reaper stash, where third party authors upload their themes that we can use. Just choose it. And all the themes that are uploaded to the stash show up here. Let's choose one and I'll show you how to install it. We'll download it from here. Then we'll go back to Reaper, go to the options menu, and go down here to show Reaper resource path. And that's going to open up a Reaper folder, and we'll find the subfolder right here called Color Themes. Open it up. And these are all the themes we currently have. Then we'll go to a downloads folder, and here's the file we just downloaded. Let's drag it in to that folder. Now we'll go back to Reaper, and it should show up in the theme menu. And it does. And now we could use that theme in Reaper. Let's go back to the Reaper 6 theme. Now, another one of my favorite themes is the white tie. Imperial theme. Let's go back to the internet. Let's type in white tie imperial. That takes us to this theme that looks like this. Now it's made to be used with large monitors, so make sure you have one or two before you use this theme. But it's one of the best looking themes we could choose from. As you can see right here, it looks great. And you could download and use it right from here, the same way. Now, if we do use the Reaper 6 theme, there's another option that's been added. Go down here to themes, and we could choose the theme adjuster. And that includes the ability to set up three layouts, A, B, and C, for the track control panel, and for the mixer, and adjust the controls on each track as you like. Change the size of our controls and also what controls we see. But I'm going to show you this in a different video. In this video, I want to focus on the themes and also our track colors. So let's close the theme adjuster. Let's add colors to our tracks. Let's select the first track, go to the track menu, and go down here to track color. And right from here, we can set our tracks to a custom color and we could choose it from here. Now on your computer, it might look different. So let's choose something like this, make it a bit darker, hit okay. And now this track is that color. And we could also do it from the right click menu. Let's select this track and right click it, go down here to track color and set tracks to custom color from here. Let's choose something like this. Now that track is that color. Now if we add items on the track, let's draw some. By default, they're going to be the color of our tracks. Although we could change those as well. Let's select this item, go to the item menu, and choose item and take colors. Then we can choose set items to custom color and change the colors from here. Let's choose a reddish color. 
And now this item is a different color from our track. So we can change the color of our tracks and our items. And we could also do it quicker with a keyboard shortcut. If we go to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List, we could type in color and see all the actions we could set up to adjust our colors. I want to choose Set Our Tracks to Custom Color and assign it a keyboard shortcut. As we can see, by default, there isn't one. Hit Add. I'm going to type C. Hit OK and close it. And now I can select the track, type that keyboard shortcut, and change the color just like that. A lot quicker than doing it from the menu. And we could also change the colors to random. Let's select all of them, right click, go to the track color menu, and choose set tracks to random colors. That's going to randomize the colors of our tracks. Do it again, track color, set tracks to random colors, and it randomizes it again. And we could also choose one random color. For example, let's say we wanted to make all these tracks the same color, but we're not sure which one. Select them all, right click, track color, set tracks to one random color, and they all change together to random color. Just like that. Or we could change them back to the default color, select them all, right click, track color, set tracks to default color. And that puts them back to the default grayish color. Now, if we're using Reaper 6 for our theme, we could use a theme adjuster to choose our track colors. Go to Options, Themes, and choose Theme Adjuster. Then we can go over here to the tab, Custom Colors. And from here, we could choose palettes of colors to work from. For example, we could choose the Reaper 6 colors, select the track, select the color from here, we'll choose this one, and change that track to that color. For this one, Let's choose this color. And for this one, we could choose this color. And now we colored our tracks based on the Reaper 6 palette. Or we could randomize it again right from here. Just recolor with the project using this palette. Just select it, and it randomizes the colors based on that palette. Or choose a different palette like Warm and do the same thing, or Pride or cool, or eek. Now, if you find the colors are too bright, but you kind of like them, we could dim them over here. Just dim all of them with this button, and they get dimmer, but still using the same color. Or just selected ones. So we could select this orange track, and just dim this one. Or the blue one, or the pink one until we're happy with that color. Now, if you like using these palettes, we could dock this window. Just go right here and click it, and it puts the colors up here. You could choose a palette from here, Reaper 6, Pride, Warm, and then choose the colors from here very quickly, or randomize them from here based on that palette, or dim them from here on all the tracks, or just select the tracks from here. Just dim them one by one. So that's themes and track colors in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.